uh, Ms. Barisi, how many visa overstayers are there in the United States? Um, I don't have that statistic with me. Well, um, let's use the President's statistics that there are 11 million and 40 percent of them would be visa overstayers as opposed to border crossers. Do you take exception with what the President said, or can we just use that as kind of a baseline? Um, I, I, in all honesty, don't recall what, what the President said about it, but I'm not sure where those, those stats are coming from. So you, 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 can't, you, can't tell, you cannot tell me how many visa overstayers are in the United States? I don't have that information with me. Is there a list? There is an interim draft entry exit report which has overstay data in it. No, 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 no. I, I, I want. Reviewed, are, are, I are there a list of names of visa overstayers? Oh. So anybody who's overstayed, regardless if it's a, a visa or a visa waiver program, um, those individuals have final removal orders, and our uh, immigration so, and customs enforcement agency receives that list. So there's a list. Yeah. Is that list shared with federally licensed firearms dealers? I am not sure. Well, it is actually uh, currently against the law for anyone who is here illegally or unlawfully p to possess or purchase a firearm. And I uh, understood in Mr. Good's opening, he wants to create a new list of prohibited persons, which just struck me that maybe we ought to find out how good a job we're doing with the current statutes that we have. Do you know how many prosecutions that there were so for, say, the last three years for uh, folks who tried to pur purchase a firearm that were not here legally? No, sir, but I can ask ICE that question. Well, it wouldn't be ICE. It would be the Department of Justice. Uh, then I wouldn't have that information because I'm with DHS. Well, it, and, and the good news for us is we do have that information, and it's uh, an incredibly small number of prosecutions like less than 100. So you can understand some of our skepticism when we hear folks calling for a new category of prohibited persons that cannot purchase or possess firearms when we've done such a dreadful job with the current categories. It is currently unlawful, illegal, for people who are not legally in the country to purchase or possess firearms. And my question is, how many of those folks have we prosecuted? And the number is really small. Let me ask you another question about the terrorism list. What process is afforded a U.S. citizen, not someone who's overstayed a visa, not someone who crossed the border without permission, but an American citizen, what process is currently afforded an American citizen before they go on that list? I'm sorry. Um there's not a process afforded the citizen prior to getting on the list. There is a process should someone feel they are unduly placed on the yes, list. Yes, there is. And when I say process, I'm actually using half of the term due process, which is a phrase we find in the Constitution, yeah. that you cannot deprive people of certain things without due process. So I understand Mr. Good's idea, which is wait until your right has been taken from you, and then you can petition the government to get it back? I understand that that's his idea. My question is, can you name another constitutional right that we have that is chilled until you find out it's chilled, and then you have to petition the government to get it back? Is that true with the First Amendment? Sir, there are strict criteria before That's not my question, ma'am. That is not my question. My question is, what process is afforded a United States citizen before that person's constitutional right is infringed, then he's fine with doing it with the Second Amendment. My question is, how about the first? How about we not let them set up a, a, a website or, or a Google account? How about we not let them join the church until, until they can petition government to get off the list? How about not get a lawyer? How, how about the Sixth Amendment? How about you can't get a lawyer? until you petition the government to get off the list. Or my favorite, how about the Eighth Amendment? We're going to subject you to cruel and unusual punishment until you petition the government to get off the list. Is there another constitutional right that we treat the same way for American citizens that we do the Second Amendment? Can you think of one? Can you think of one? I don't have an answer for you, sir.